Is this a must win for Dallas? Go Nick. Well, as you have described, there are different types of must wins. There is the tangible must win, like for playoff or Super Bowl hopes, you've got to have it. And then there's the vibes must win. Correct. So they're like for so this week I would argue Philly is facing a must win both. Tangibly, it's a must win because of who they're playing for the yes. division. And vibes-wise, it's an absolute must Double win. Double must win. Baltimore, I would argue, playing neither. Tangibly, they don't have to have it. And vibes-wise, they don't have to have it. If they lose to San Francisco this week, no one's going to panic. Houston is facing just a tangible must win. Gotcha. They need it for their playoff we hopes. Totally but even if they lose. We've come so far. The, yeah. Even if they lose. He's stalling. The, no. Because I, I, No, I'm, I'm leading up to it. I think you're going to agree with me. For v- Dallas, it is just a vibes must win, not a tangible must win. Because as I described, explained yesterday, they can lose to Miami and still be in the exact same position to win the division. It's all about whether or not Philly's going right. to drop a game. Mm-hmm. But if they lose to Miami, even if Philly drops the game against the Giants, and it's like, oh my gosh, the Cowboys are really in position to win the NFC East – People will still panic. You will still mentally downgrade them off off the contender tier, I feel. And I think they will have real doubt set in about are we what Brew has described us as outside of AT&T Stadium. And what is so unique to me about this game is whomever, somebody has to win this game, somebody has to lose it. And there will be referendums on both teams accordingly. If Miami loses this game, Brew, it will be a vibes disaster. Yeah. And if they win it, people will be like, oh, look, they, they played some fighters, not some break dancers. They showed right. they could do it. And the flip side for Dallas. So it's a must win from an emotional perspective, but not a practical perspective. That's how I feel. I, I do agree with that. This is an absolute must win for the Cowboys, not from a record standpoint. They are an S-Bob team. I think you guys will actually agree with me. now. In fact, you did about a month or two ago, right? You agreed they were S-Bob. No, I, no, I did not, Brew, and I'm not going to no, argue with the s They don't I'm have to again. get to the – No. Them getting to the conference championship is good enough. It would be the best – Brew, I'm not having the same argument. It's not good enough, but it would, can, there no. is no bus. Dallas there Cowboys, no bus. you need to get to the Super Bowl. <laughs> or bus. And if they lose this game – they are not getting to the Super Bowl. Wow. They're not getting to the Super Bowl because it will just – look, their antennas couldn't be any more on alert. We, we got – man, we, is there really something wrong with us on the road? Like, we can't win on the – not only can we not win on the road against good teams, we get destroyed by good teams on the road. Correct. So let's go out there and prove otherwise. Can we beat good teams? We beat Philly, yeah, at home, but we're one in three against teams with winning records. Let's go out and prove we can beat a good team. If they go with all of that in their minds, if they go there coming off a bad loss in Buffalo and get beat, I mean, it'd be nice if they nicer if they play close and lose, but just getting beat, because I don't look, Miami to me is cute. But they are not a Super Bowl contender. They're as not far a as contender. Now, they're, they're nice. They're a little, a little slightly that. dangerous. They're not tough enough to me to win the Super Bowl. Okay. And so if Dallas goes there and loses to Miami, how in the world am I supposed to expect them to win three games on the road in the, the NFC when there are at least two teams on their level? Mi- I, Miami it won't happen. Is zero and three against teams currently above yeah, five hundred? Lost enough. to the Bills. Got rolled. Rolled by the Eagles. And the Chiefs put up 21, which they rarely do. Uh, Cowboy, you're very confident in the Cowboys, even though the Bills ran for 266. Yeah. Dolphins like to run the ball. I assume Mike McDaniel has been in the lab cooking something interesting. Yeah, I think Why are you so confident? They run differently, but they run. Yeah, because I think the Cowboys, first of all, one of their best run stoppers was out for the game. Everyone's dealing with injuries, but I just think that should be noted going into that game. They they drafted Mazzy Smith in the first round to try to be a, you know, D-tackle run defender. He's been a rookie who struggled. So they had some weaknesses there, but also I think it caught them off guard. I think it caught all of us off guard that the Bills' game plan was going to try to win that way. I don't think any of us saw that game plan coming. 
That's no, no excuse. I, no, no, no. I'm not saying it's an excuse, but Wilds is asking me why it would feel differently. I think they know exactly what Miami is going to try to do. Miami is going to do what they have done all year long. Throw it to which Tyree is, Hill. Very w- well, I think they use the run as a threat to set up the pass, very similar mm-hmm. to what San Francisco is doing. Not starting a purdy conversation, right. but it is, it is the Mike McDaniel via Kyle Shanahan system. And so I don't think it's going to catch them off guard. Also, and uh, I think we can show it to you. I might use it a little earlier, Hubs. I apologize. Dallas off a loss. I know Brew last year, Brew was talking about how they've been a bad road team for back-to-back years. years. So since for the, over the last two and you know two plus years, off a loss, it's not only that they haven't lost back-to-back games, they have dominated their opponent. Do we and have a tomato? I, Do we know how many of those nine wins were against? Well, the I know that games? I know that this year Probably one of them. Of them at least. Well. This year, I remember very well, one of them was against certified tomato can New England because you guys tried to sell me on that the Cowboys could potentially be on upset alert yep. against them after losing to the Cardinals. I don't remember who they played right after Philadelphia, but they blew them out. And let me say one other thing about Dallas is the one in three against teams with a winning record is accurate. It's also accurate to say three and three against teams 500 or better. That Seattle, that, hold on. No, no, no. Seattle moved out of tomato. How many category. 500 or better? How many 500 teams, seven and seven at this point, yeah. are legit Super Bowl contenders? Well, I would say Buffalo, which is. Well, eight Buffalo's eight, eight and six. six. Buffalo's above. Are, are there any no. seven and seven teams? Well, so here's, I guess Super the Bowl point contenders. that I would make is this the, r- Seattle and the Rams. Right now, the Rams are in the playoffs. Seattle's the first team out. Mm-hmm. Either of those teams could be playoff teams, and Dallas beat both of them. So I do think there is a, there is a very real possibility that when the playoff field is set in the NFC, that Dallas will have played five of the other six playoff teams and beaten four of them. Beat Philly. We'll see if they, I think they're going to beat Detroit. They've already beaten the Rams. They've beaten Seattle. The one team they would have played and not beaten, obviously, is San Francisco, San Francisco, which is the big boogeyman of the conference right now. But I think Dallas's struggles against good teams is maybe right now a touch overstated. I think it is because they're we one saw, in three. Right, right but they're one in three. The, I, I understand they're one in three. But so, will you feel differently about Dallas if the Rams and Seattle win this week, and they're both above five hundred? Will you fundamentally change your opinion me, on them? I, I will fundamentally change my opinion if when I see what they do against Miami. Okay. That's what it will. Okay. That's the way to do it. Don't answer the question. No. Answer your own yeah. and, and the run game, <laughs> yeah. it'll be interesting quickly. Philadelphia and uh, – or, I'm sorry, San Francisco mm-hmm. and Buffalo ran, like, with power over the Cowboys. Cowboys are small and fast. Yeah. Miami's fast and small, right. too. That's so, it'll be interesting exactly right. to see how they do against yeah. this run game.